Well, we are at the DreamWorks picnic and the treasure hunt continues for Animation Express and here we are with the very, very, very talented Alexi Alexiev who uh, the whole Animation Express team is personally a very big fan of. So thanks for, for, for taking time off, uh, Alexi, for talking to Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So how did you come up with Logjam? I mean, I mean, you know, there's not like, I mean, it's, it's very difficult to think of a simple concept such as Logjam and to make it so effective. I like simplicity, actually. Originally, it was called uh, so-called KGOG number five. Uh, you know, KGOG uh, number five. Yes, the pilot. Okay. First, what I made. Actually, uh, once I was thinking, why not to make something with animals? And uh, I made these characters and uh, made about 12 minutes of animation in a month. I'm working quite fast. And after. I felt that uh, it's a story repeating, it's quite long and I like really short, you know, less is more, it's really what, what I like. And I took out 10 minutes from 12. So that's how <laughs> it became this little short, the very first one. And then uh, when I have to send to festivals, they required some title and I didn't know what to say as a title. Mm. Because I'm not really good with titles. Okay. So, it turned out finally that I typed you know, occasionally this KGFG and put some number behind it because you know, mm. it ha had to be something really without any message. Then uh, this short was picked up by Nickelodeon and they liked it and they asked more episodes. So I created one more and now it's all together 13. But they said English speaking people, you know, they can't pronounce this KGFG, especially with number five. But because it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> right. So they decided uh, to change something more English. So that's how Peter Drake, one of the producers, decided to came up with the idea of to call it Log Jam. Because it's Log, it's Log and Jam is the jam, jam station, whatever something, which is uh, easy to pronounce. Uh, so do you, do you animate yourself? I do everything myself. From design, uh, story and with uh, sounds. Everything. Everything yourself. Everything. Yes. And how do you? Uh, I mean, what is the process like? When do you, you know, know that? Yeah, okay, this is it. This is the punch I want to give. I mean, do you keep on thinking about punch ideas all the time for your next logjam film, or how? No, I'm trying not to make even storyboards. I just start. I say have situation and try to. You start obviously with them making their jamming music. Dun, 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 yes, dun, 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 yes, and, and, yes. Yeah. No, that's uh, because it's a series. You know? yeah. I uh, feel like they can do certain differences, but uh, uh, when you have the luxury of one minute, right? And actually, uh, without, uh, it's like basically it's 54 seconds even because three uh, seconds is front of the Yeah. So you have to be very careful what you can show because you know in the 53 seconds is very uh, not easy to create a story, which is understandable right. and still kind of funny. So that's why, oh, and, and uh, you know, it's uh, really an age of simplicity, basic simplicity. So uh, what's the purpose to make storyboard for this? What, how he's dancing wolf or what, what to do? To right, so, right. And um, I like this kind of fresh feeling. For me, this, I like this feeling of a kind of computer um, game, maybe, you know. I don't play so much computer games, but uh, here I'm free, you know, for example, I have this situation, I go ahead, look, what can happen next? I see, next morning, for example, I check, is it work, do I like or not? If I don't like it, I drop it, go ahead, I change it. Because, you know, I do everything alone, you know, I don't depend on, on people, I don't need to explain. And I'm quite tough with myself as well, you know, so. And was this the, f I mean, are all the films you make of, of a similar, simple theme or was this that it just got made and then you, you kind of thought that it's cool? Listen, I never was uh, actually my biggest surprise that this type of humor, which is you know, basically it's not uh, strange to say, which I enjoy, uh, were enjoyed by many people because I really, uh, at the beginning, I was afraid to be uh, misunderstood. 
Mm. И после завезну они месседж, завезну они basically idea, завезну они anything вот, you know, gives a concept what it's about. And I don't like this kind of uh, morality of film. So at the end you should say, wow, I understand why it's not good to do this. So I should do this. No. I never believed even when I was a child, I never believed in message in movie, you know. Mm-hmm. You like or not? And it's a moral movie, it's especially for children, you know, you know, you see how it's bad to do this way. I never got this point. I like or not. And uh, there are some schools, whatever other institutes where you can be teached doing right or bad things. But life, you know, it's simple. Life is teaching more than, than you know, it's, to say right, it doesn't mean to make right. So that's why I appreciate something what's, what's not predictable. For me, boring, most boring movie which you know what will happen next. Much more earlier than it happened. So like you're watching film, and you're already processing, okay, then it will happen this, yes. Predictable. When you understand this, and in 10 minutes, it happens something. So you got bored, because you predict the script, and why to make it. So put it short, you know, then, then at least it will work. At least the same as a viewer. So I think the worst case scenario for art is boring art. The rest is, it doesn't matter, it can be funny, it can be sad, but it should be entertainment. I want to be entertained when I'm watching something. That's my basic idea. If less, I, if so the basic fundamental you're saying is for you less is more. Yes, yes, that's in my flag. And uh, you know, from the production point of view, again, it makes it very feasible because uh, you don't have to think about rendering fur and you don't have to think about you know, putting different light sources and stuff, but you can still entertain, which is... I don't think in our times, yeah, uh, you know, uh, techniques, te- technology means many things, but I don't find that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the beauty of picture. As I feel, for example, I can watch beautiful movie, you know, starting with huge, you know, amount of you know, special effects in 3D and doesn't matter in 3D glasses. but. You watch it as an uh, introduction for first, let's say, one, two, three, five minutes. Then you, do you want or not, you follow the story. And this, the world, is not really most important, because the story is more important in this case. You can create the most beautiful picture, but it will be too much. The, I think the uh, best film, when, when you can meet target with the tools. So sometimes, why to make it in 3D, you can make it in 2D. So technique should be very reasonable. 3D, so you should show something. Whatever, 2D is the same, you know, every technique has advantage. So I choose very simple way, especially. And uh, it's, uh, uh, to make it simple is more complicated to, than to make it complex. Yes, and it's tough. So, so it's from this point of view, it's a kind of was a challenge for me as well. And now that you're going to do so many more episodes, uh, do you feel that uh, the because it's now commercially being demanded from Nickelodeon now you you are you know it's a commercial product. Yeah. So is it the same uh, process for you continuing to make more films? Uh, first of all, I was as as the beginning I was not looking for success. I'm happy it became successful, but still, uh, do you want or not? If you're making more episodes, you can't expect it will be every episode will be very funny. It's a more likely situation. So I, of course, I, I'm consider that uh, you know, if uh, in commercial way, uh, it's hard to keep very funny. That's how you, you know, like you know, how many Simpsons episodes, you know, great, most funny. But there are some kind of well, not as funny. They are funny. It's a series, and. Um, from my side, I don't think I can run out from these ideas, but the question, you know, what... Uh, I, uh, I don't like uh, commercial production in the way you have to you have to do it. But because so many idiotic situations in, in a forest can happen, so I'm not really afraid. Because you, you can do whatever you want, you're free. They don't right. really have to play. You can, you know, you can put some kind of alien to fall down and happen something else, you know. So it's just a question of your imagination. That's awesome.
Thank you so much. My pleasure.